Cochlear is here to support you and your patients on their path to hear now and always. In this series, we outline the process, resources, and support available to you and your patients to make the upgrade process for a Cochlear Next Generation sound processor as seamless as possible. As a durable medical equipment provider, Cochlear will request a physician's order and or a signed letter of medical necessity from you, the patient's clinician, after an order for a replacement sound processor is submitted. The LMN serves as a prescription that allows Cochlear to provide the specific products ordered and verifies that they are medically necessary for the patient's Cochlear implant to continuously function. While insurance companies have their own standards for eligibility, medical criteria, and which signatures are required, there are multiple data points that are typically needed in an LMN. Some of these data points can be filled in by Cochlear, such as patient name, date of birth, implant date, and certain HixPix codes. Some must be provided by the clinician or physician, such as ICD-10 diagnosis code, which is the most commonly forgotten data point, medical history, physician signature, date, and NPI, medical necessity for a replacement sound processor, and some HixPix codes. Considerations for determining eligibility for a medically necessary sound processor upgrade typically include when the patient's device is out of warranty, plus one or more of the following. The device has reached its end of useful life, usually after five or more years of continuous use. The device is lost or stolen. There is a demonstrated improvement in hearing performance with the next generation technology. The device is retired or obsolete, which is a normal part of a product life cycle that occurs as technology advances. These are covered in more detail in the eligibility video of this series. There are multiple ways an LMN can be started, completed, and signed. For practices using Sign Here, powered by DocuSign, Cochlear can initiate and send the request for an LMN through DocuSign using your specified clinic signing preferences. From there, you can input the necessary information and electronically route for signatures. Once completed, the signed LMN will be sent to all parties. If your practice does not already have Sign Here powered by DocuSign, your local Cochlear representative can get you signed up with the program. Cochlear can also initiate and send the request for an LMN through email or fax. From there, you can print, provide the necessary information, obtain signatures, and email or fax back to Cochlear. You can also initiate the LMN by using one of the templates available in the My Cochlear Clinic Professional Portal. The templates are updated on a periodic basis, so it's optimal to retrieve them when you need them to ensure you're getting the most up-to-date version. Once completed, you can sign and then fax or email to Cochlear. Sometimes an insurance company will request additional information or deny an initial request. In these situations, you will hear from Cochlear. If the denial is appealable, Cochlear will attempt a first-level appeal. We will share the denial, including the exact verbiage and reasoning from the insurance company, with you and may request additional clinical documentation from you to include in the appeal. If a denial is not appealable, we will cancel the order and send the denial and reason for the cancellation to you and the patient. We're here to help. If you have questions or want more information, please contact your Cochlear Field Representative.